Hi, and welcome to Inca Points. Today we're going to be studying memorizing scripture. Why is it important? What are the benefits? So let's get into it. In the Bible, there's many scriptures that tells us how and why we should memorize the scriptures. Consider a playbook. Consider your favorite team and, and how they are uh, playing the game and different ways of, of executing points, whether it be basketball, football, hockey, whatever the case may be, there are playbooks. There are things that they are predetermined uh, routes or strategies that are put into place. Well, as Christians, our Bible is our playbook. We need to memorize scripture. Memorizing scripture, uh, we can execute uh, when, when necessary, right? We can be an encouragement. And I have seven things that I think is going to help us understand why memorizing scripture is important and how we can be encouraged by it number one is jesus set the example if we look in matthew chapter number four uh, jesus is in the wilderness and he's being tempted uh, of the uh, of the devil and in, in three instances jesus me uh, quotes scripture well, we know that Jesus is the Word, so he didn't have to memorize the Scripture. But the, the example here is that Jesus used the Scriptures uh, to defeat the temptation that was put before him. So as we consider that example, Jesus' our example, uh, having Scripture to, def to defend ourselves from temptation and sin, and we'll get, on, we'll get into that a little bit later as well. Second thing is, is that God wants us to have the word of Christ dwelling in us richly, right? In Colossians chapter three, verse 16, it says, dwell, the, the word of Christ dwell in you richly, right? Dwell means to inhabit. God's word needs to inhabit us, needs to be in our lives. Number three is it renews our mind, our way of thinking. Uh, I wasn't saved until I was a teenager, and I needed to change the way I think, right? I changed my viewpoint. I needed to change my way of of the Bible, right? Uh, you can look at Romans chapter number 12 and Psalms 19, right? As we look at the scriptures, it, it, the Bible's going to renew our minds. It's going to give us a way of thinking and way God wants us to think. Uh, number four is memorizing scripture is a part of armor of God, right? Having that sword of the spirit. <clears throat> and as I put on the armor of God in Ephesians chapter number six, the verse number 17 says, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I'm able to fight off, right? That temptation I spoke about with Jesus, I'm able to fight off uh, the devil. I'm able to fight off the temptations that are in my life with the word of God. Um, the memorizing scripture gives me a, a, a defense mechanism of, of, and, uh, from sin, right? Joshua 1.8, uh, Psalms 119, uh, verse 9. Right? Thy word have hid in my heart, but then I might sin against thee. So if I'm reminded of the scriptures and, and I'm able to learn from that, then I'm going to be able to uh, stay away from sin. Number six is memorizing scripture will give us an opportunity to encourage others. I don't know how many times where I've really gotten to a point where memorizing scripture, when I'm, I'm talking to somebody and verses come into my mind and verses come into my, my speech just as common language. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I, I want. I want the word of God to come off and roll off my mouth, off my tongue, as if it was just a common, a common language. Not that I want to downplay the word of God, but I don't want to scare people either. People who who don't know the word of God or who are afraid of the word of God will allow uh, that to to be something that they might be afraid of. So if I can just put it in my speech by memorizing scripture, I'm able just to put in normal conversation. And I think that encourages other people. When I'm able to give that um, that um, word of encouragement to a brother or sister in the Lord, or if I'm able to uh, help somebody um, that's not a Christian that has struggling and problems, and many times where I've been approached uh, to ask a question about something, it uh, gives hope to people, right? It provides them something in their lives. And number seven, uh, having God's word hidden into our hearts allows us to have the wisdom of God. Uh, having word of God in my life, I'm able to change the way I think about things. And giving God's wisdom is greater than my wisdom. Uh, I want to rely on the things of God. I want to rely on the things that God has given me to do. So as we look at the scriptures and we can look at these different things in our lives, we can understand how godly wisdom is best. 
uh, I'm not perfect and I'm going to make mistakes, but if I can rely on God's word and, and, and what I've hidden in my heart uh, through Bible study, but especially through memorizing of scripture, then I'm going to be able to um, have that wisdom. Um, as we close here, I want to show you a tool uh, that I briefly went over last week. But here it allows us, um, I want to go a little bit more in depth as I said I would last week. So here we have is a website and um, the website uh, is called uh, Bible Memory, all right, the Bible Memory, which is an app on my phone as you see here on, on the right. This is my phone. And what we can see here is different verses um, that I can in, uh, be uh, use in, in here and uh, this is just a tool for us to be able to use as we go forward for for the Lord and um, um, I just want to show you a quick way to how to do this if it's gonna let me let's go back here my verses the anchor point verses here we go so here is how this works so when I go into the verses um, I type in the first letter of each so so was it we're in God willing more abundantly if I hit the wrong word then it's going to give me that red mark but it's also going to give me a little vibration on my phone where it's going to remind me hey you know you didn't do that right so as I learn the verses and repetitive moving every day moving into the scriptures um, I move up to the next level next level then takes away some of the le uh, words that I was doing and then um, <clears throat> Uh, be able to work through that and then when I want to master it I have to know all of the words that are in that verse so in here uh, it allows me I think I have a couple in here that um, but it, it can set up a uh, review times where you can say hey I want to review every day I want to review every month um, there is a system um, of doing this right so if I once a day for five days uh, once a week for four weeks and then once a month until whenever so as we work into those systems as we work into these things uh, this tool here is absolutely phenomenal I've actually started uh, if you look at the website here I'll turn off my phone if you if you look at the website here um, we'll see how um, <coughs> excuse me how uh, this is connected to uh, what we're doing um, and I have the groups uh, my verses and um, I could provide you a link to these verses and how um, we're able to work together and study the verses and work through the verses and um, have uh, some encouragement one to another so I hope this lesson was an encouragement to you memorizing scripture and the importance of it I'll put the list of the seven in the description so that you have them uh, as we anchor every area of our lives in Christ. Memorizing scripture is one of those things. So thank you, and until next time, I hope you have a great day, and God bless you.